So let's go back to the computer. And I'm going to go open up a project. And let's go this one right there. I used Premiere, oh, 14 years ago when it was Premiere 4. It wasn't even CS yet. And then I went to Final Cut, and I've used Final Cut. And then every so often I go back to Premiere when there's a task that Premiere does better than Final Cut does. But one of the things that I learned a long time ago is that when I want to bring media into Premiere or any video application or into anywhere, you do Command-I, you import it. The problem is, is that when you import media, you're losing the benefits of this really, really cool media browser. And now I'm going to share with you my absolute number one favorite keyboard shortcut on Premiere beyond all others is the tilde key. The tilde key takes wherever your cursor is, takes that panel, and blows it up full screen. Is that not cool? I keep asking Apple why they don't do that, and they just grumble. But you just put your cursor in the panel, type the tilde key, and now you've got full screen to work with that particular function. Tilde again to go back again. The tilde key is immediately above the tab key and immediately below the escape key. So here's the media browser. First thing that I want to do with the media browser is I want to create a favorite. So over here, I've got all these folders on my hard disk and multiple hard disks and multiple raids. And, and all I want to be able to do is get to the media that I use on a regular basis. So I'm going to go to, let's see here. Well, let's use this. I've got some, um, some footage. Oh, this is some footage I shot of Lindsay. I'm going to hold the right mouse button down or control click. And I'm going to say add to favorites. And notice over here, that folder now shows up in favorites. This means that if I want to go to the folder containing Lindsay's video, just double click it. And there's all of my Lindsay footage that I used in my, my recent training. Or I want to go to my training media footage. Just click it. And there's all the footage that I have access to that I use for all of my training. The benefit to this is this, can, this folder can be multiple folders deep on any number of different hard disks. It makes no real difference. It just saves me having to go click hither and yon. If I need to go back, the go back button allows me to go back between one folder and the next. But there's a lot more to the media browser than that. Let's go down to stills. And let's go to nature. And I want to see, use the filter command. I want to see, do I have any Photoshop images? Okay, I've got one Photoshop image. So I went from showing me all of my files to just say, just show me the Photoshop files. Isn't that cool? It's, it's, it's like bridge designed for video and media. Another thing I can do, let's go back to all supported files. I can um, do a search. Now here I'm doing a search for, let's just do a search for balloon. And there's all of my balloon clips. I haven't imported anything. I'm simply looking through the application to my hard disk and helping figure out exactly what I want to work with at that particular time. So the media browser, oh, then to bring it in, just right mouse click. Let's, let's take this one. Right mouse click and say import. I'll shrink this back down again, press the tilde key, go to my project folder, and there is the Banff photograph imported into my project folder. Now, here's where it gets really cool. As you know, Premiere only allows one project to be open at a time. And although you can have unlimited number of sequences open inside Premiere, you can only have one project open. Oh, whoa, is me. What can I do when I need to be able to access a second project? I, I have to quit this project and open a second project. Wrong, Moose Breath, because we can use the media browser. Watch how this works. I'm going to go to the media browser, tilde key to enlarge it. I'm going to go up to, let's just twirl this up and go down to my second drive and find the folder that I store all of my Premiere projects in. There, for instance, there is a project. If I double click the project, it opens up all the components of that project. I can see the video and hover scrub through it. I can see every single one of my sequences. I can see all of my graphics. So I say, I just want to bring in this piece of video from that project. I can access any project on my hard disk 
using the media browser. You can't do that with command I for the import function, but it's even cooler than this. If I select this project right here and right mouse click and say import on the project, it opens up a dialog that says, do you want to import the entire project or just selected sequences? Do you want to create a folder for that? And do you want to import duplicate media? I want to check. I want the entire project. I want to put it in a bin and I want to allow duplicate media. Shrink this back down, go back to my project and look what's happened here. There's my surf project in a folder inside my existing Go Faster project, there's every piece of media, there's every sequence, there's every piece of text. I have all the contents of a different project as a bin inside Premiere. This is enormously powerful because now no longer do I have to worry about, oh, I can only open one project at a time. Now I can access any project that's stored on my hard disk and use the media browser to bring it in. That is really, really cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at secret power tips for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 159. By the way, Membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.